it's important that we look at local and regional scales because that's likely to be the scale where conservation actions are, are implemented. The big questions were what is happening at these local scales and it really had these two facets. Are the number of species changing and is the identity of those species changing? And then the overarching uh, goal within those two questions was really to map where, where these changes are occurring. We did it by using a database that's called the Biotime database that was started by Maria Dornelis and her collaborators and recently published. Um, so this is an open access database that represents the largest compilation of assemblage level time series. That is to say time series that count the identity of all species in uh, local assemblages and document them through time. Patterns of species richness, the number of species at any given location, are highly variable and on average not really different from zero. There might even be a slight increase in the number of species at local scales. And so there's this disparity between the losses at the global scale and no change or very variable patterns that we're seeing at local scales. An example that lots of people will be familiar, familiar with is this idea of invasive species. And so uh, where species are coming in from other systems to replace native species, they're sometimes referred to as aliens coming into uh, native uh, and, and potentially replacing native species. That's a, a, a widespread example that's happening in lots of ecosystems all around the world. Having now found that the identity of species within local assemblages is changing and changing quite rapidly, we need to start asking the next set of questions that you're implying is what does it mean? It matters a lot for local assemblages when the identities of species that are coming in to them, into these, these new species that are arriving in local assemblages, have very different ecologies from the existing species. For example, ecosystem functioning might be dramatically impacted if the communities coming, in, if the species coming into these assemblages are vastly different in some way than the, than those that they're replacing.